Hey guys, what's up? A uh, quick update on my army so far. I'm actually making uh, really good progress considering it's only been two days. Um, I already have the Sentinel all built and primed. So you can see I put the last cannon on there. Um, I do have a PDF file of the codex, so I am actually uh, building my army and not just putting random guns on there. Um, I do plan on buying the codex sometime soon. And then I won't have to use the file. I'm just using the file to build my army. Um, I got a little plant on there from the heavy weapon sprues. And uh, for the basing, I'm just using normal sand <clears throat> with uh, some a little bit bigger pebbles. And also from the heavy weapon sprues, some uh, just like a little plant to so just make it look a little more like Kachan. And then there's a guy with a Kachan head in there. So, I really like that Sentinel. It comes with a lot of extra stuff, too. Uh, here is my command squad. Um, Alright, I chose a uh, Meltagun, and that's what that guy is there. There's a Standard Bearer. He's uh, one of my favorite looking guys. He's awesome. Uh, here's my company commander. I gave him a plasma pistol and a chain sword. Um, I'm not really too sure on how, like, most of the Imperial Guard weapons, uh, work. Uh, because, you know, I, this is my first Imperial Army. But, um, I did read the codex on what they do. And, you know, I, I want it to look good, too. Not only, um, function well, so. There's my comlink guy. And then, here's my medic. I actually did a conversion. I used a guardsman head. Um, oh. come on. Alright, I'll just move in closer. I moved, used a guardsman head. Um, that came with the sentinel. And I figured, you know, they would probably find a helmet or something or have access to one. So, I like that better than the normal medic head. And then I have my sergeant for squad number one. And here's my first guy I built and painted. I should probably bring it over to the light. Um, if it will focus. I used the uh, Reaper paints I got from Mini War Gaming. And they were very good. I highly recommend them. Um, I'm starting to like them a little more than uh, Games Workshop. And that's the ones right there. Those four right there. And those ones are Vallejo, those two, and then these are all my GW ones. Also, the new washes are pretty nice, too. It, as you see, the skin right here <coughs> is the uh, first time I ever painted skin, and it's only two coats, and that's actually black camo on them. Um, the first coat is of Reaper um, Fair Skin. And then the second one is of Ogre and Flesh Wash. And I had to give the Reaper paint two or three coats. Um, not very unusual because I did it with a black undercoat. And it's a light color. And then the wash I did probably two times. And I got a really nice effect with it. I don't know if you can see but I dry brushed some um, gray like on his jaw area, sort of looked like a five o'clock shadow, and his eyes came out okay. Um, pants are three layers. I did uh, Reaper Forest Green, then I did a highlight of I think that's Goblin Green, yeah, Goblin Green, and then I did a wash of green ink. Um, and that's how I got this effect. I usually personally like to do a base coat, a highlight, and then do a wash. That's just my per personal preference for the coat, or coat for the tank top sort of thing. I used, um, I want to say snake bite brown and brown ink. And I really like how that came out. And for the hair, I just use uh, B-Style brown and brown ink. Then bolt gun metal with a brown wash just to dull it down. I still have to paint the base, but um, I don't. I think he's pretty nice. Uh, all my bases are based. I did speed basing, which basically 
um, you just put players right there, you dip it in glue, and then you dip it in the sand, and put it, um, as opposed to painting on the glue. Um, and then over here I have something pretty cool. Um, I have my first heavy weapons thing, but I'll bring it over here. It is actually magnetized. Um, you just take this off, and right here there is a little uh, paper clip where the other thing used to be. And then right here, underneath is a magnet. Um, it's not too noticeable, so I thought that was good. And then you just glue on the ammo, and it just uh, snaps in place. And, you know, it's pretty strong, actually. And I'm going to do that with um, the last cannon, the auto cannon, and the uh, heavy bolter. Um, yeah, I got these both cleaned up. So, um, that's pretty cool. I'm going to do that with all three. Um, I still have all those sprue left over and all that. Um... So I I think this uh, battle force is really cool, and also something I wanted to point out is um, just the difference between the new catachains and the older ones is um, if you just look at their shoulders, actually just get the light pointed on him a bit. If you look at this guy, he looks a lot better. You see this guy sort of has really chunky arms and shoulders. But then, if you look at the new command set, um, the only Kadian thing on here is his helmet. So, this is the new Katachan stuff, and I think it looks really good. Um, as you can see, the arms don't look big at all, but they still look, you know, muscular and everything. And I really think it gets, like, the Katachan look to it without, you know, looking like that. And, um, only the troop models look like this. Even the heavy weapon guys have uh, smaller shoulders, so you know it's not that big of a deal. I mean, these guys, they do have big arms, but it's okay, you know. Um, but I really like these um, ones, and um, it's not just with this one guy either, you know. They all have that going for them. I'll just show you heavy weapons. <clears throat> this might be a good idea on the. This arm right here is one of the newer ones, and the arm on right here is one of the old ones. And you can actually see see a difference in them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, they look really good. Um, and they got these cool backpack things that come in the command squad. So I am really liking this command squad. Um, I might buy another box to do my platoon command squad. So, uh, yeah, that's my army so far. Um, so, yeah, I'll give you an update next time. So, thanks for watching.